If someone asks you, why would you like to take a trip to Italy? Probably your first response would be to try the delicious cuisine, including their infamous pizza. Italy is a beautiful country with breathtaking scenery and architecture, a rich culture, and an impressive history, but Italian cuisine is a source of national pride. Italy's fragrant and fresh gastronomy is known and loved around the world. Today we know about the best traditional foods in Italy. Let's begin it. Number 10. Gelato. No, gelato is not just ice cream, although it may look similar, it is quite different to what is commonly known as ice cream. Gelato has way less fat than ice cream and a stronger taste since it's not mixed with water and air. Gelato is made with fresh ingredients only, making it unable to store for long periods of time. Also, it is stored and served less cold than ice cream, giving the gelato a smoother texture and making it more refreshing while enjoying it walking through the streets of Rome. One of the best desserts to enjoy during the summer, and even during the winter. Number 9. Truffles. One of the best gifts Italy has given the world, even though it is possible to find truffles in a few other places, no other country produces them with such quality and volume. Truffles are a highly aromatic fungus that are found near the tree roots in the forests of Piedmont and Umbria between the months of November and March. They are found by trained dogs and maybe white truffles, which are stronger, or black truffles with a lighter taste and smell. Both of them are among the most expensive foods in the world. With a pasta dish, a salad, or even a breakfast egg, truffles will add a strong, but delicious, special fragrance to your food. Number 8. Risotto. This classic rice dish is prepared with various meat, fish or vegetable broths with onion, olive oil or butter, white wine and Parmesan cheese. All over Italy, you can indulge in various risotto dishes made traditionally of arborio rice or carnaroli rice. Popular menu items include chicken and pea risotto, mushroom risotto, seafood risotto, shrimp risotto and beef mince risotto. Number 7. Asabuco. Asabuco is a dish from Milan and is the best example of elaborate Italian cuisine. It is slowly cooked and may take up to 3 hours to be ready, but that results in a meat so delicious and tender that it's going to be worth the wait. Asabuco is veal shanks with a red or white wine sauce, vegetables, garlic, lemon zest, lemon juice, and other spices. The best part of the dish is when it's all finished and you get to taste the delicious bone marrow. That's where its name comes from, Asabuco means hollow bone, the name itself invites people to try the entire thing making it one of the most traditional foods in Italy. Number 6. Lasagna. A meal made up of layers of pasta, meat, cheese, and tomato sauce is as close as it can get to culinary perfection. There's also a vegetarian version where meat is substituted with vegetables, that way everyone has the chance to try the amazing Italian dish. Lasagna is from the Naples region and it was originally cooked with bechamel sauce, ragu, and cheese, but over the years, with more international ingredients available, lasagna transformed into what we know today. Number 5. Italian Cheese. There's so much in the Italian cheese culture that it needs its own list. Cheese has been around the Italian peninsula for centuries. Ancient Romans created a vast variety of cheeses and experimented with them by smoking, melting, and aging them, giving us the basis of many famous cheeses found today. Strong, soft, creamy, grained, sweet, or salty, how can anyone say no to a good piece of cheese? 
As is common with every Italian food, each region has mastered a specific type of cheese, but all are equally good. Number 4. Focaccia. Italian dough is so good that it needed a special bread to homage it. Focaccia is an oven-baked Italian bread in between flatbread and pizza. Depending on the region, it may look different, it may have different ingredients and toppings, and even a different name. In the Tuscan area it is known as schiacciata, in Basilicata, strizzata, and crescia in Umbria. It is typically a bread with herb toppings and olive oil. Perfect for a starter or just as an afternoon snack. Number 3. Pasta. Spaghetti is the most popular Italian pasta. The perfect example of the beauty of simplicity, the simple combination of eggs, flour, water, olive oil, and salt gives us more than 400 styles of pasta. Some of the most popular types of pasta are fettuccine, spaghetti, penne, and tagliatelle. Each region in Italy has its own signature style, Tuscany houses the best pappardelle and Rome the fettuccine. Pasta may be prepared in a variety of ways, creamy, with pesto, with fresh tomato sauce, or even stuffed. But certainly, one of the most popular pasta dishes in Italy, especially in Rome, is spaghetti alla carbonara made with guanciale, egg, pecorino cheese, and black pepper. Number 2. Pizza. Traditional Italian pizza is made of flattened round dough topped with cheese and tomato, and garnished with basil, olives and oregano. The most famous traditional Italian pizzas are Margherita al Napolitana, Naples-style pizza with tomatoes, mozzarella cheese, and basil, pizza marinara, with tomatoes, garlic and oregano, pizza quattro stagioni, for seasons pizza with four sections of four different toppings, and pizza quattro formaggi, pizza with four different cheeses. Number 1. Ragu a la Bolognese. Known in English as Bolognese sauce, ragu a la Bolognese is considered the national dish of Italy. The traditional recipe is time-consuming but not overly difficult, requiring patience as you add ingredients including a characteristic soffritto of onion, celery and carrot, different types of minced or finely chopped beef, often alongside small amounts of fatty pork. White wine, milk, and a small amount of tomato paste or tomatoes are added, and the dish is then gently simmered at length to produce a thick sauce. Thank you so much for visiting our channel. Which country foods do you prefer most? Just leave in the comment section below. To get more video updates, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for supporting us, see you in the next video very soon. Till then bye.